Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching the CEO Live Investor Profile Series. In this episode, we'll be talking to Mr. Lewis Hoke, COO and President, as well as Houston Frost, SVP of Corporate Development from Payment Data Systems. Payment Data trades on the NASDAQ under ticker PYDS, and they are a leading integrated payment solutions provider offering a wide range of payment solutions to merchants, billers, banks, service bureaus, and card issuers. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Thanks for being on the show. Good afternoon, Mike. Nice to see you, Mike. So for those investors new to the story, give us a quick overview of what Payment Data does and tell us about some of your current products and services. Well, Payment Data is a 17-year-old company. Uh, we've been, we're a payment processor. We process payments for some of the largest companies in the United States, including Pfizer, Merck, and Medtronics, and, and a lot of utilities and churches. Um, our competitive advantage a lot, uh, comes from our technology and allows developers to integrate payments wherever a uh, consumer may want to issue a payment, uh, including mobile devices and websites and telephones and websites, uh, again, websites. Um, we have leading bank sponsors uh, that shows our credibility in the industry, including Wells Fargo, Fifth Third, Sunrise Bank, and, and other uh, main mainstream banks. Uh, we have three lines of uh, payment processing, ACH processing, credit card processing and prepaid card processing. And uh, we operate in a secure cloud-based environment and are able to deliver payments uh, acceptance wherever uh, payment might uh, occur. And this is a huge industry and it's, and it's uh, a great opportunity for investors right now. What is payment data doing to grow? Uh, you know, How fast are you growing, I guess, is a better question. What are you doing to, to capture more market share? Well, last year we grew at a rate of 7%. Um, this year we have strategy to grow, uh, two-pronged strategy. One is through acquisition, and we're, we're actively looking at, at uh, companies and card portfolios to acquire. We're hopeful that we'll be able to complete a transaction this year. Um, and we're, we're going to grow organically. Um, we have a very rich pipeline uh, with sales coming from our our sales force, internal sales force, and through agents, um, but mostly through technology integrators uh, that, eat, that leverage our technology to uh, provide payments within their their applications that they're delivering within verticals in the in different industry verticals like like churches and ministries and and utilities. There's also a lot of consolidation going on on in this space right now, isn't that correct? How how do you think that's going to affect you guys? Well, consolidation is, is 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 definitely occurring in our industry, and it's exciting. You know, payments have gone from kind of traditional methods to very digital and and you know mobile and 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 just different ways to deliver payments. And because of our technology uh, and other companies like ours, the larger companies that don't have that technology uh, are are buying buying you know the smaller companies that are more nimble and have innovative innovative technologies. So uh, we're seeing a definitely a lot of consolidation within industry, and we think we're well positioned to take advantage of that. And these next couple of questions are for you, who's Houston. Uh, you're the SVP of corporate development. Uh, after selling Akimbo to PYDS. What have you been working on? What new products are you uh, planning on bringing to market? Yeah, so, um, uh, you know, Akimbo, uh, the product was around for about three and a half years uh, prior to the uh, acquisition uh, by Payment Data Systems. And, you know, Akimbo was launched in partnership with a processor uh, like Payment Data. Um, so the first order of business after the acquisition was to actually rebuild, essentially, and relaunch our prepaid card program, all of our front-end technology, mobile apps, web web applications, et cetera, on uh, now our own processing issue or processing platform. Um, and that's been a really exciting project, and it's enabled us to do a number of of, and enabled us to push out a number of enhancements to the Akimbo card. Um, uh, more recently, we've pushed out enhancements with Apple Pay and even virtual cards where we can deliver those cards by email and, and text message. Um, we uh, also, another thing that we've, we've been working on, you know, following the acquisition is integrating some of payment data's existing solutions 
uh, specifically their promotional reward incentive card programs uh, into the Akimbo platform as well. And um, uh, in, in just uh, uh, December and, and, and early part of 2016, we launched a new service that allows businesses to send digital or virtual reward and promotional cards. They can deliver those by email and mobile phone or text message. Um, and the recipient can actually collect those cards in real time, get a 16-digit uh, MasterCard number over a mobile app or through the website, and then use that card number uh, immediately for online purchases or within mobile wallets. So we're really excited about that solution, and that's come out of the combination between uh, payment data's you know, existing issuing technology and Akimbo's front-end solutions. Um, and, and we really think it's a, a, game, a game changer you know, for this incentive card industry, and there are several competitive advantages, not, not to mention the speed at which the recipient uh, you know, can have access to it, but also the lower cost for businesses that want to send out reward cards. Um, and, and then just to talk about some other creative ways we've done, we, we sort of integrated the two systems. Those reward cards can actually be upgraded into the traditional Akimbo card product as well. Uh, so um, but we're excited about those things. Some of the things that we're looking at in the near future are corporate expense products. Uh, we don't have a timeline for the launch of that solution, but, uh, but we're excited about where that, that can go uh, in combination with our incentive and reward uh, program. So, Houston, it sounds like you guys are doing a ton of stuff in the mobile uh, payment space. What, what else are you doing to lead the charge of mobile payments and, and going, as they say, plastic lists? Yeah, so we are firm believers that the shift away from plastic is uh, as has begun and will continue. Um, and uh, it's not just mobile devices. Um, it's really devices uh, – uh, you know, in general, that includes wearables, uh, you know, for example, the, the uh, Apple Watch uh, and, and many other wearables that are out there that you can already actually make payments with. Um, but but even uh, even things like your vehicle, your automobile, when it pulls up to the gas station, it will be able to, to make payments uh, and you'll literally load a card into, um, you know, a, a keychain or a device in your automobile, just like we do. Uh, with Apple Wallet uh, on our on our iPhones today, um, so we're we're really focused on that. And and the first and important thing was how can we deliver this card now that we have these uh, plasticless uh, ways and wallets where we can make payments? How can we deliver that card without the plastic? Because you know, still today, you order you want to use Apple Pay. Uh, you still need to order a piece of plastic. We have to mail plastic across the country. And then you get your 16-digit card number. So what we've really pushed forward on is that ability to send, as I mentioned earlier, to send the card number via email or text message um, and also to be able to deliver that directly within, you know, into a mobile app. So you're going to be able to download our app, sign up for a card, click a button, and that card will be immediately provisioned into Apple Pay. Um, so, so that's what's getting us excited about this, this shift away from plastic. And we, we really are focused on how we can make the delivery of that card fully digital. Well, it's a tremendously exciting space, especially for investors. And we encourage them to keep an eye on companies like Payment Data Systems because you're really leading the forefront of this shift into mobile payments. And uh, that's all the questions we had for today. Anything else either of you would like to add before we close? Well, thanks for your time, Mike. Yes, thanks so much for having us, Mike. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, gentlemen, as well. And uh, we'll keep a close eye on, on PYDS and uh, hope to have you back on the show in the near future for a, a quick update. Thank you. Take care. We've been talking to Mr. Lewis Hoke and Houston Frost from Payment Data Systems, ticker PYDS. Payment Data is a leading integrated payment solutions provider offering a wide range of payment solutions to merchants, billers, banks, service bureaus, and card issuers. To learn more about them, please visit their website at www.paymentdata.com. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.